Hey, so in this video, I will show you how to use Python, Selenium, and Beautiful Soup to log into Facebook automatically, open the Facebook group of your choice, and then scrape all the posts in the Facebook group you want. So if that's something you're interested in doing, keep watching. Okay, so to start uh, writing our script, we are going to need uh, various libraries. First, we're going to need Selenium to uh, log into Facebook. Then uh, we are going to use a uh, date time and time just to add some wait times in uh, our script then beautiful soup uh, to read the html source code pandas to get the cd file and using the selenium web drivers uh, chrome options we are also adding options um, to be able to disable chrome notification okay so now that's done uh, we can start um, with the with the script so first i'm going to write a three empty list so for this script we're going to get the um, the content so what i call content is the text of the post the time so when was the post published and then the name of the poster so that's why i'm creating three list uh, three empty lists for that then uh, we are going to uh, just i'm just adding this so we're going to get the um, driver so for this i'm using the chrome driver manager and what this does is that instead of having always to download the new the right driver for the right chrome version uh, this updates uh, the driver automatically so i don't have to worry about it then we are going to open facebook maximize the window so make the window bigger and then one thing that you might need to do um, is accept the cookies so uh, for some reason every time i use uh, Facebook in a new uh, window, they ask me to accept the cookies. So that's why I'm adding this as well, so that we can click on the cookie button. And then uh, what we need to do finally is to, um, well, sign in to our um, Facebook account. So uh, we're going to find the ID of the email element, the ID of the password element, uh, enter our uh, password then we're going to log in and then we're going to open the facebook group we really want to script so i'm just going to just save this and we're going to run this code and see uh well if it works so let's go ahead and do that okay so as you can see uh we accepted the cookies and now uh well we connected to facebook um so we're going to click on connect and uh, now the next step is to uh well open the facebook group we're interested in so the new york city housing facebook group so as you can see everything is working uh we didn't have the notification now all that we have left to do is to go ahead and actually scrape the post so what we're going to do is that we're going to use um beautiful soup to scrape the uh, they get the HTML code of the website and then scrape the content of the website. So uh, to do this, we have to find the X path for each uh, element that we're uh, going to scrape. So today I want to get um, the name, the date uh, at which the post was uh, published, and then the text. I mean, here there's no text, but like this, it would be this. So um, what I'm going to do is you open the Chrome Inspector. So I need to find an X path uh, for the post. So I'm just going to well use this little um, cursor and just click on each post and try to find um, what I'm looking for. So here uh, we have this tier rule, uh, the feed. So it's interesting. Let's go ahead and okay. So there we go. So here uh, I found the X path for the post and I know it's this one because as you can see, we have the same X path um, over there and okay, this X path, uh, I mean, it's just um, well, the post that you see here because it's like the same structure. So if I, for example, click on this one, I will get, which post will I get? Okay, so I get this one and then if I click on there, I get the one below and so on and so forth. So, okay, so uh, let's just uh, keep a note of this X path because we will reuse it in the future. And so now uh, what we need to get is um, the, the name. So the name is here. Let's just click here. Okay, 
so the name no okay so we see that the name is this a element uh, with this class so again let's uh, write it somewhere in our notes as well because we're going to need it uh, before uh, sorry we're going to need it afterwards okay and um then uh, i want to get the time um, at which the post was published so was published so there again I'm going to go ahead and click. So I see that the time is this A element and this is the class. So again, I'm going to copy paste it somewhere uh, to make sure that um, I can use it in my code. So uh, the next thing we have to find is the text. So let's click on the text. So if I click here, I only get well this element, but I want to get all of the text. So let's just Okay, so as you can see, the content of the post, it's this panel element uh, with this class. So again, I'm going to take note of all of this, and then uh, we are going to reuse it in our script uh, when we use Beautiful Soap. So let's go back to um, the script and uh, write it. Okay, so let's go back to the script and use uh, the XPath we found um, with Beautiful Soap. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll uh, get the script. So I wrote it off camera at search time, and so here it's how it works. So here we have a while um, loop, and so while um, this is true, what we're going to do is that we're going to use beautiful soup to well get the HTML of the, of the page with the HTML uh, parser. Then uh, we're going to use the XPath we found previously. So for the post, we're going to find all the elements, uh, so the div elements who have the class that we found where we were using the, the Chrome Inspector, same for the uh, same for the name. So, and then what we're going to do is, for example, for the name, we found that uh, the name uh, of the poster was the A element with this class. So uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and try to find this element. So if we, I don't had uh, the exception, uh, what would happen is that, uh, for example, if you don't find the name or the script doesn't find um, an element, uh, it would stop. But sometimes, especially for the, the post, sometimes you see people just use pictures so on and so forth. So uh, to avoid uh, that uh, script stopping when it doesn't find an element, we're just going to add this exception and just add the not found, uh, not found in the data set when um, they don't find a name uh, or where um, the content is not found and same for the time of publication. So this is mostly for the content elements, but uh, uh, it doesn't hurt to use it for uh, everything else. Okay, so um, now that we have everything we are looking for, uh, we have to add it to a CD file. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this uh, part of the code. So, um, if you remember when we started to write the code, we added some empty lists, as you can see here. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to add the content. So those variables, we're going to add it to the list. So the content um, the content list, we're going to add the content, time time list, and so on and so forth. Now, and we're going to use the Penta libraries to create a CSV, to get a data frame first. So, um, those are the column and the content that's going to be uh, well in the rows. Uh, I'm using this uh, job duplicate function mostly for the content. And it's because sometimes, um, because, uh, well, the scripts can um, scrape the like the same post twice. And I just want to avoid this. So that's why I'm using uh, this function to make sure that I only have uh, one post per row. And finally, I'm going to save it to uh, a CSV file called the Facebook data too. So here you can choose whatever uh, file name you want. It doesn't matter, but just what you should know is that if you run the script several times, um, this, you have to create a new file name because if you don't, uh, the old uh, file will be erased for this new file. So just keep in mind that if you uh, use this uh, script several times, you will have to change the name. So now I'm just going to add um, a if condition uh, because as you can see here, so if I don't add anything, this code can just run on and on and on and on because, uh, well, um, there's nothing here because 
while this is true, well, while uh, the, the script finds posts, it should uh, run. But the thing is that with Facebook, you have infinite scrolling. So basically, the code, code go on forever. So to avoid this, I'm just going to uh, add this um, df uh, shape function. So uh, the shape refers to the, well, the number of rows uh, and column uh, in the CSV file. And so here, what I'm going to do is that uh, if you have here uh, more than two uh, rows, well, I want the script to stop. So um, you can choose whatever the number of uh, well, results you want. So here I'm going to say 10 just to, for the sake of examples, but if you want more, just feel free to, to add more. It's just that your code will uh, just take uh, longer to run. So, okay, so we're almost done, almost. Now, the last thing that we have to add for this code to be uh, almost perfect is to uh, add the scrolling um, part. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this white. I just make sure it's at the right place. So the while uh, loop is here. So so this should be here actually. Okay, so here I'm going to do what this is going to do. So first we're going to wait for five uh, seconds. Then we're starting with uh, this Y variable, which is set to 500. And what's going to happen is that we're going to use the window scroll to uh, so to scroll down the page because, uh, I mean, as you can see, uh, let's open Facebook just to check it out. But because, yeah, so as you can see, it's if uh, so when we log in for the first time and here the zoom is at 50%, so it's not even accurate. So it's it back to 100. So when you log in for the first time, well, uh, that's where you at, right? But so if you want to scroll, uh, if you want to get the post, you have to scroll. And so here it's uh, an infinite scroll. So uh, you can just go ahead and scroll and scroll and scroll. And so that's what we want uh, our script to do, to scroll, uh, to be able to, uh, well, get the post. So let's go back to the script. So here what we happen is that uh, we're going to wait anywhere from 0 to 25 seconds. Um, and then what the script will do is that it will uh, scroll down. Um, and it will scroll down, so 500 pixels down, then wait for three seconds. And uh, we'll do it um, again and again and again to keep scrolling down. So now that we have everything ready, uh, let's just go ahead and try to run the script and try to see uh, well if it works. Okay, and we are done. Uh, so you will find a link to the script in the description box in case you want to uh, just copy and uh, use it yourself. And if you found this helpful in any way, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas of cool web scraping projects I could do. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Bye.